I turned on my comment, so this is literally where we left off last time. <coughs> and let's just get through it, get over it. Okay, guys, and we're back. And let's drop here. Let's go here. Get you out of the way. Get you out the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! Psh. Meeting some more trail mix. Oh shit. Get out of here. Get over there. I'd break into this thing, but it wouldn't. It? And we're dead again, guys. Mm. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Let's get some trail mates real quick. Mmm, -hmm. mm, yummy. Mmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. for the little thing, okay guys? I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna jump over here. And then, <coughs> really? You gotta be joking. I told you this was the one, guys. You just have to be a patient with it. Kill you, kid. Think about that for a second. Let me help you get home. What's the fastest way underground from here? There's a sewer portal on the other side of the park. Then let's go. Run for it! Wait, I was just a no-witter? Do we have to, man? I'm see, that guy was real creepy. I prefer being above ground. I preferred a lot more than this. More than that. <clears throat> Run, Randall. Yeah, stamina. I know. It's cool. Oh no. One of your dreams. That gave me a headache. My sweet Lydia. There it is, wrapped in blood stained paper. The half hearted friend of my daughter Lydia. The paper has a message in Shadow Center and follow the path that you showed me. I can't read 
read it. I can even read my own handwriting. <coughs> hey, I think I'm going crazy. Two nights ago, when the group stopped to rest in a dive that we had. Hold on. So, Jared, I heard a noise in the back room. It wasn't ominous, it was a chosen voice, a little girl's voice. Nobody would believe this, but after experiencing that we had lived with the dead, I'm sure that it was the voice of my daughter. I went to the back room and I could see her in the half light. Lydia was there, her eyes were like torches shining in the dark. She was just like before, like a princess. Somebody switched on the light and Lydia wasn't there anymore. The hallucination disappeared. It was Carla, one of the twins, who stole my daughter's voice and was dressed like her and called me for the silence. Called me for, called for me in the silence. I don't know what's going on. I can't trust my senses anymore. Where have you been? Help me! Shit. What's... What the hell is the matter with you? Why didn't you shoot? They almost killed you. My daughter. I'm sorry, I... I... I saw her. There was no one there. Only the shadows behind you. Boy. Again, boy, I'll punish you. I discovered where your friends are. They were taking them to the stadium just a while ago. Yep. Even more so than the Space Needle, a fortress of high cement walls protected by the military. But today, they've made it into one more horrific ring of hell. And what about my wife and daughter? What about them? I looked and listened. Hard. I couldn't find any trace of them. If they have been captured by these men also, your friends may know. I need to go now. I've lost too much time already. Be careful, Mr. Wayne. Those men are dangerous. Mm, thank you. Oh boy. I'm gonna shoot. You lucky to be alive. According to what the rat told me. If I cross the parking lot, I'll come to the stadium that was used as a safe place for survivors. Am I at the point where I'm gonna have to... Come on. I don't wanna fight. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm so terrible. Yeah, yeah, we get it. According to what the rat told me, if I cross the parking lot, I'll come to the... You know what? ...place for survivors. You... I'm really sorry. So, uh, I was all dying today, huh? My god, Josh, we're gonna be at this forever. Okay, is there anything I'm missing? If I cross the parking lot, I'll come to the stadium that was used as a safe place for survival. Drop me! Get off! Do I? I mean, I'd have to use just a little bit, right? I was just away. What we call darkness is the light we can't see. Is that water? Oh, bub. Oh, 
was down to three. I'm not gonna die. Change your weapon. Oh, that is not cool. That was a waste. Now I've got one bullet. waste a bullet didn't I run 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 get out the wet you cannot see there's a lot of things behind me and I'm very busy thank you I appreciate your cooperation anything in between here I need hmm? Hmm? anything nothing interesting Are you sure I can't go up here like, ha! That's what I'm supposed to do? Those men from the new law use the message to draw in the innocent survivors. I can't tell if I'm supposed to do this way or not. I wouldn't go this way. I really don't want to. Can I go back out? So now, let me see. I just don't care. Yeah, I can still go backwards, right? I can definitely go backwards too. Oh, I just gotta make that jump. There must be another way. Yes. Jump. Yes. Jump. And then I think I can do this. Huh? No, I can't go back. Guys, I can't go back. Jump and yeah, you can't go back. Alright, well whatever was there is gonna have to stay there now. Wait, why'd we go through all this? Was it completely necessary? There are shadows everywhere. Thousands of them. Taking refuge in the stadium. We would never have stayed safe alone. Yeah, Come on! Okay, well I guess it's useless. Get over there. Jank. 
Jump. Abducted him, left him for tortured and dead. The poor old man saved my life, and this is the thanks he gets. I've got to save him. Hey y'all, what you know? Oh, censored. What? Oh, last page of my diary. Whoa. All right. 1986, January 7th. I had a visitor in the mountain. Ben Parker climbed up to see how things were going up there. This Parker is a small old man. He's American, but has lived with us for many years as one of the community. Ben was born in our neighborhood country and fought against those <clears throat> commies in Vietnam when he returned home. He wasn't made to feel welcome and had to look for a new home. A homeland that doesn't want you when you've given all for her is like a father that abandoned you when you were a kid. He came here with his wife who was ill. The air of the mountains is good. We can breathe. People say, however, it doesn't help much, and she passed away quite soon. Ben works as a pilot. He helps out the heli with helicopters. With helicopter rescues, he offers tourists the best bird eyes view in up Canada. According to him, I imagine that he feels a bit lonely in the town, and that's why he climbs up to the mountain to talk with me. We get along well. He brings some beers and starts ranting about the rescues. He doesn't get along with them. We both think that soon there will be another war that will make the world's foundation tremble and that the best place for protecting ourselves from it will be under the very grass that grows under our feet right now. What y'all don't do? Heh. <laughs> Heh. Alright. My friend, he's alive. Oosh. No time to lose. They've already loaded the supplies onto the helicopter. We still need to make a stop at the safe point before returning to base. Let's go. Now we'll see you as the last lap, old man. Yeah, fight back, Ben. Gotta get to Ben. Those new law bastards are torturing Ben and feeding him to those damn shadows. I've got to hurry. We are, we are, we are. On days like today, even a guy like me could believe in God. Shotgun? I'm, I'm sorry, I just want to see if it is nothing. Okay, let's go, Ben. Oh, shit. Get off me, get off me, get off me.
Looks like the building was a refuge when the disease first spread. And now those crazies use it. Oh god, now I don't... I see. They thought I was stupid. Pew. Look at me down. Fudge. Come on. Come and get some. Ben. Ben's my best. What? Ammo? Hmm? That I was keeping in the shelter, and that the soldiers of the city defended with their lives. Now then, old friend, I found you. Get off me. Get. Ben, you Never just gave you up. Never done it. I think I gave as good as I got. Ow. I told you I'd meet back up with you, didn't I? They took Stella, Andy. They're crazy. They're rebuilding by force. They're killing anybody that doesn't fall in line. What about my family? Have you seen them? I haven't seen anybody. They strung me up when I wouldn't go along. They took Stella somewhere else. Some kind of home base. If they've got your family, that's where they'll be. What about the safe point? It's all a lie, Randy. Uh, there ain't no safe point. They're just using it to round people up and take them somewhere else. Then we have to get out of here. We have to find them. Let's go, buddy. I don't have the strength. You have a pretty deep cut, and you've lost a lot of blood. <laughs> Look, Randy. A Christmas present. You won't be able to fly in this condition. We need to stop the bleeding. You'll have to wait for me here. I need to look for something to fix up those wounds. Today is my lucky day. What are you talking about? Even someone like me would believe in God on a day like today. <laughs> look behind you. Damn it. There's got to be a first aid kit and some meds around here somewhere. That's why we're going to a hospital. Bend fast, or he'll bleed Don't out. give me a timer, please. I knew I could feel so alone. Shannon. Lydia. I miss them so much. A brochure about the new flu and waste prevention. New illness. Oh, come on. I don't know what is. Yeah. Well, I was kind of in the middle of reading and he interrupted me, so I'm very appreciative of that. Why is it? Oh, Ben and I made a strange start, but tonight we hid in the basement of a clinic. We will be safe there, Ben. Said Ben. We entered before the rest of the group, but it smelled bad. There were insects all over the floor, shreds of skin and hair. There were hair and skin everywhere. And in the center of the room, I could now see two de dead dogs dead. Two dogs that were also looking for a safe place. I thought they fought. <clears throat> I thought they fought to death for a piece of rotten meat, and I wondered if we would suffer the same fate, but they didn't fight for me. No, I was wrong. In this place, there was nothing that could be put in their mouth. Into the mouth. There was nothing there except some medicine, serum pills. They fought to the death, but died of a drug overdose. They died to become the first dog left with the useless ampule of morphine struck between its veins. Oh. It's gotta be terrible. Ooh. 
gorgeous. Swag. Wee, I find. Drop. It seems that someone left a message on a recording machine. Are you so it's true, aren't I? Yep. The pharmacy is on the other side of the elevators. Zombies, shadows, whatever y'all call them. Okay, you know what guys, I'm gonna end the episode there, okay? Hope you enjoyed, leave a like if you want more of this, uh, subscribe, comment, and I have two more videos for you guys today, it's gonna be, one is going to be of a special game, another is going to be of another different game. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, so, I will see you in the next next time bye bye